But then we came through to the back and look what we found. Any chance we thought we had of uh, making it to Bogota before doing something about this is, is, is over now. No, we're gonna have to deal with this now. Hi, I'm Lavi. And I'm Oli. And this is our hero, Bumblebee. Together, we are attempting a Guinness World Record to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by, by motorcycle. motorcycle. Join us for season three here in South America. All right, time to leave another love motel. <laughs> and we've got to go through this like curtain of dreams here. <laughs> it's always a bit weird. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning world, welcome back to the channel. It's day number 345 on our circumnavigation around the globe by motorcycle. We're here just 10 miles south of the city of Popayan in Colombia. And we've started pretty early this morning. I'm super proud of us actually. It's 7.20 a.m. and we're on the bike and we're moving. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a new record for us. But it's good that we started early because we are on a mission to reach Bogota in two days. I don't have a map of Colombia at the moment, but I'll explain where we're going. We'll be heading up to Popayan and then around the city of Cali and across to Bogota. So the navigation says it's about 12 hours riding. We've got today and tomorrow, and then we want to arrive in Bogota on the third day. But that day we also have to get our rear tire changed and we want to see the city a little bit. So we've got a busy three days ahead. But our first mission for today is to head into Popayan because there we've got to get ourselves a new SIM card because the one we bought two days ago seems to have already run out. And our other mission is to see if we can find insurance, the mandatory insurance for Colombia. Now at the border, they don't provide it. Um, and yesterday was Sunday, so everywhere was closed. So today is pretty much the first day that we can go and see if this is possible. We're gonna head to one company called Seguridad del Estado, the state security, I think it's the biggest company um, and they've got an office in Popayan that opens at eight o'clock so we're gonna head over there and see if we can get some insurance for Bumblebee. Yeah let's hope that the roads are nice and free and not blocked with landslides or accidents because we have a long way to go and yeah it's already 7 30 so better hit the road let's go. That place there was called Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Oh, what a wonderful phrase. Hakuna <laughs> Matata. Ain't no passing phrase. Size this organ. Blind with the emotion. Kind on them don't see. Philosophy. Hakuna Matata. Yeah, Colombia is still sleeping. And the streets here. The only people who aren't sleeping are the graffiti artists. <laughs> I mean, look at these walls. This is ridiculous. It's and true. it's a beautiful, like, historic street, probably 200 years old. And it's just like covered in graffiti back there. Yeah. Wow, this is a beautiful church here as well. Look at that. Wow. Cool. Wow, literally, we could be like in somewhere in Spain right now. Yeah. It's just coming up here on the on the left. Oh, oh. yeah. Ah, yes. Sigurus. It's our problem-free philosophy. Do 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 do. Hakuna matata. Bon dia. Bon dia. No, 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 hablo español. <laughs> Viene, um, uh, norte, a Cali. No. Norte. Norte, yeah. <laughs> uh, in, uh, uh, England and Germany. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, I guess yes. Did they want something? No, they didn't actually want something from us because they said, oh, back there you didn't do something. Okay. They did. When we passed the junction, they went, boo, and then they stopped us. I think it was a stop sign oh. and I didn't stop. Yeah, better be careful. Uh -oh. Okay, 
Right, so this is the Seguros del Estado and they open in 15 minutes. One hour later. Okay, so some guys on bicycles just came and told us that today is a public holiday. So they said that the insurance company isn't actually going to open today. So can you believe it? It's, yesterday was a Sunday and today is a is a holiday, a public holiday. But they told us that there is a, a petrol station just down here that they reckon might sell the insurance. So we're gonna go and check that out and see if we can get it. But they said if that place can't do it, then basically today, you're not gonna be able to get it. Success? Yes. Did you have to get a new SIM card? Or? Yes. Yes, the old SIM card is finished. It was just like a tourist SIM card. Okay. It says they sell SOAT here. Maybe you could ask as well. Oh. No? Okay. Awesome. So the SIM card was not very expensive. It was like, what, £2.50 or so? Yeah. With two gigabytes of data on it? Yeah. So we got two, one for each phone, and then we can... Uh, use my phone at the front for navigation and Lavi can, I don't know, go on TikTok or whatever. <laughs> my GPS is saying now it's 11 hours and three minutes to Bogota. Woo! 360 miles. <laughs> yes. It's nice to see the hours going down now and <laughs> that we get closer to our destination. We're really praying that there's no road enclosure today. And it's a really funny thing as well because, yeah, it's a public holiday here in Colombia today. Hopefully yeah. the roads will be nice and empty today. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to make the roads busier or less busy. I it's really true. don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out, I guess. Yeah. But the aim for today is to get within seven hours of Bogota. Um, so that means about five hours of riding time today. But if we can get a little bit further than that, then we'll be doing even better. But yeah, if yesterday is anything to go by, then uh, it might not be as smooth and simple as we imagine. Let's hope for the best, hey? We just stopped at the traffic lights and here are so many bikes now. I mean, look at that. <laughs> it's like bloody mental. Behind us is a giant convoy. Yes, and we have a nice V-Strom 650 just in front of us. Yeah. Hello, guys. These guys here. From, from Colombia. Yeah. Just got to be quite careful not to like yes. side hit into any of these other ones. Yes. Yeah, it's a bike country here, Colombia, definitely. For sure. We saw... <laughs> This guy's <laughs> woo! Oh, they're on a V-Strom as well. Oh, oh! Wow. Holy crab sticks! Holy crab stick! Ah. <laughs> Hola! Oh. How's it going? Hello. Uh, hello. hello! How are you? How's it going? Uh, hello! Como estas? Hello! Buenas, buenas! Buenas, buenas! Hello! Inglaterra, Alemania! Oh See. yeah, and you're from Colombia? <laughs> yeah. Manchester! <laughs> oh, from everywhere! From everywhere! Ah, cool, cool! Nice to meet you! Hi!
<laughs> He's the leader of the motorcycle club. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 These guys are telling us that they are the like the only V-Stroms in Colombia. It's like the V-Strom club. We just happen to like ride next to them. That's so cool. Well, what are the chances we run into the V-Strom club of Colombia, hey? Yes. Cool. Yes. I love how they just like, like rode in front of us and literally stopped us like, like stop. We yes. must talk to you because you're a V-Strom owner. Yes, yes. <laughs> Woo! He's not a V-Strom. He is not, no. <gasps> what is he doing? I don't know. He gave me like this, uh, this, this thing. I have to put around my head, and then I have like a second, um, like a second tail here. <laughs> a second ponytail. No way! He gave you it. Yes, he said it's a present. Have it. Oh, I'm like, what? So nice. So nice. Oh, wow. Super cool. But anyway, it was really lovely to talk to you guys, and we love Colombia. So we've reached a flat area now. And here is a lot of sugarcane being grown. Yeah, wow, there are no mountains around us anymore. It's like literally completely flat. Yeah, but we had enough twisties yesterday, so... Yeah, it's actually nice to have those flat, straight roads. Hashtag Patagonia. But anyway, yeah, it's really, really beautiful here. The ride has been actually really nice so far. It's just nice to have a, to have a calm, chilled ride. <laughs> It was really something I was looking for. So we just stopped here on the side of the road at a petrol station and Oli got a nice coffee. And we just ordered some tortilla. So apparently it's just egg with rice and, and a salad. Yeah, they said they had like no vegetables to go with it, so... And otherwise it's very hot now. I think it's nearly 30 degrees, so we might have to change back into our um, armors. There you go. It's not bad, hey? It's really good, really good. I get some soy sauce. Gracias, ciao, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> it's so nice, they, uh, we gave them stickers and they put their stickers on their aprons. Oh, so <laughs> yes, we had a spontaneous uh, photo shoot with these guys and uh, they were so cute and so friendly. Oh my god, it was a really nice break. Yeah, and we changed from our jackets into our armor outfits and our fox jerseys this is just nice and breezy now that's beautiful yeah so anyway we have nine hours to bogota so we still got to do a couple hours before we reach our target but uh yeah we're doing pretty well it's been a beautiful day so far so in front of us here is a crazy crazy long sugarcane train look at this one carriage two carriages three carriages whoa and whilst we were having our break, we saw a whole bunch of those uh, passing by the petrol station and man, some of them were five carriages long. Can you actually believe that? Five carriages. That's like, how can they possibly control that vehicle? That is insane. I think they can't. I think they literally drive it with closed eyes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. On the five carriage one, the rear, the last carriage was like flying around. <laughs> Like, no control from the front. Very mad. Oh man, it's just endless amount of sugar cane here. Endless amounts of sugar cane. <laughs> Literally in all directions, as far as the eye can see, it's just the fields of sugar cane. Incredible. Oh, we've got a tractor. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> Holy sugar cane. We have made it within seven hours of Bogota. We have completed our mission for today. Woo! Celebrating with some wafers. Yes. But also our suspension. I don't know if you saw it in a previous episode. Just noticed something quite weird as well. 
we've got something dripping from the bike that we have like this oil leak coming out of the cylinder in the middle of our suspension coil and basically that oil is dripping away which is basically making our suspension like super bouncy so we're gonna tighten up the suspension there's a little uh, dial on the side of the bike uh, we're gonna tighten that one up now so hopefully it's not so much like like this because it's getting a bit crazy to be honest <laughs> so this dial here has like H and S which I assume is hard and soft so I'm gonna click it a couple more clicks this way one Two? Yeah. Two? Yeah. Let's go with two for now. We'll go with two clicks and we'll see how it goes. So we've got another strange thing happening with the bike. And I'm not sure if this is related to the suspension or not. But basically uh, what's happening now is that when I'm sort of leaning into a corner, we've got this sort of wobble going on on the front, uh, on the handlebars. So I don't know if I can really show you, but when I get to like here, look at that. It's like the whole bike is sort of being like, woo, woo, woo. And I think it must be related to the suspension being like really soft. But when I'm flat, I don't really feel any issue. Really strange. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, but I don't really want to take corners too fast in, in this state. Yeah. It's either that or something to do with the rear tire, but I really don't know exactly what's causing that, but it's a little bit strange. Well, it's time for us to get a new back tire, definitely. We've managed to arrange with a garage in Bogota who have a couple of different models of tire. Um, so we're gonna go and see with them which tire we're gonna have, but hopefully if all goes well and we reach Bogota tomorrow, then we can get that tire replaced the day after tomorrow, which is basically one day before our flight. <laughs> but yeah, about this issue at the moment, I have no idea. So we're having a little look to try and figure this out, why it's going a bit weird. And uh, I thought maybe the front wheel wasn't aligned, but it really looks like it is aligned. But then we came through to the back and look what we found. Boom. That would explain why we've got a bit of a wobble going on because we have lost tire pressure in the rear wheel. Now, I'm not sure how low it is but also we've got some cracking here and there's literally no more tread in the middle. So it's a really good job we're on our way to Bogota to get this fixed. Wow, crazy. I'm scared now to go any further with this one actually. Well, it depends how long we've had that for because if we've had it like that for like the last few days, then it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Then we just ride with the low tire pressure until we get there. I mean, it's literally yeah. one more ride and we're there. I think we'll carry on for today and we'll see how it is. I'll just take the corners nice and easy. Yeah. I mean, worst case scenario, if it's really bad, we just have to get the tire fixed in um, that other town, Ib Ibagué, uh, and we just get a, a, any Eight tire. tire. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, let's carry on for now. See how we get on. Okay, so we just jumped back on and uh, it's definitely getting lower and lower by the second. Any chance we thought we had of uh, making it, you know, to Bogota before doing something about this is, is, is over now. No, we're gonna have to deal with this now, today. So there's a town coming up in 30 minutes called Armenia. It's a funny name for a town. Uh, in Armenia, there's a bike shop which is still open, open till six. So we're gonna ride over to there and see what they can do about it. But yeah, for now, we're gonna take it pretty easy. So we've got 13 miles to get to Armenia and then we'll see what we can do. Yeah. So we're getting into town now. We are now two miles away from the bike mechanic, but there's like tons of speed bumps in this town. And it's really, really nerve wracking because I don't want the whole bike hitting the rim of the wheel, but our tire is getting flatter and flatter by the minute. Yeah, we can really feel the wobble now. 
it's like i don't think there's any air left actually no it feels super weird yeah this bike is bouncing around now a lot and it's pretty wobbly on the back kind of feels like we're uh, riding on sand yeah it feels super crazy and i'm really really hoping that something is open today because it is a holiday a public holiday <laughs> God. Yeah, it's not too cool when you're riding slow uh, in traffic like this because everyone wants to get around you. Oh man, I'm just so worried about if the tire gets too low and the bike hits that rim, if all the bike weight lands on the rim of the wheel there, then that, that rear wheel is going to be toast. Then it's game over. So not, not cool. Okay, so the place, place should be coming up in a second, somewhere here. Uh, is it this one right here? No? Nope. Yeah, is maybe. It? No, no, it's not. No? I can't see anything. This thing? Nope. Tala de Motos El Bosque? It's probably this place here, no? Maybe, but whatever it is, it's totally closed. So I think we're gonna have to Google map our way to another one. Just stop here for a moment. Okay. So we've tried a couple of mechanics. We tried to call one just now, but everyone is closed today because of the public holiday. So for now, we will just try to find a place to stay for tonight. And then tomorrow morning, we will call up some garages and ride around and see if we can fix the tire because the tire is dead. <laughs> Totally. Yeah. Totally down now. Totally down. Hotel El Bosque. Which I think means forest. That's why it's green. So they have private parking, which is awesome. Yeah, that looks really flat now. I can push that in. We made it! Happy and alive! With the flat tire, but alive! Yeah, that last bit was pretty hairy to be honest. It was a bit like... Whoa. So, um, yeah, we can't really ride much more on that tire to be honest. No, luckily uh, a town wasn't too far away after we have noticed and actually tomorrow hopefully the shops will be open and we will figure something out because we definitely need a new tire. You know, it's crazy. It's like Colombia is throwing loads of obstacles at us. First it was food poisoning, then a diversion that took us all around the mountains, a landslide and now a flat tire. It's like... <laughs> I don't even know what to believe anymore. We just want to reach there to get the flight, you know, for Bumblebee. <laughs> it's like the one time that we have to get somewhere on a specific date and it's like Colombia is throwing everything at us at the moment. It's yeah. absolutely crazy. I think Colombia just wants us to stay here actually for longer and I wish we could spend more time here because it looks absolutely lovely. The people are amazing, the landscapes are amazing, the streets are so clean and nice, I can't believe it. Like the nature and the people are just amazing here. I would love to spend more time. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.